Aha, hello my hearties, thank you do. Just me, Scotty McLean, quick Friday night pop-up. Happy show, of course, fantastic night tonight on Nation Radio 96.3 FM in Central Scotland. Or, of course, nationradio.scot, www.nationradio.scot. What a fantastic day it's been today, of course. We've had the royal wedding, and uh, I introduced that for you live on Facebook Live so you felt familiar and I spoke on behalf of everybody in Scotland in sending congratulations to Eugenie and to Jack on their wonderful wedding. Fantastic stuff. So excellent. What just amazing and what a wonderful show tonight guys on Nation Radio. Really super wonderful stuff. So do come and join us. Quick pop up. I shan't be long but I just wanted to know how how you all are? Have you had a good evening? Are you dinky do? Thomas Hamilton says hello, hello Tom. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Excellent stuff. Hello pal, how are you doing? Says Thomas. We're doing very well, Thomas. Excellent, thank you very much. And Jane's there. Hello, Jane. Dinky do. Good morning, Scotty. Says Ben for Zachary. Good morning, Ben. Steve Burrows is watching. Dinky do. And uh, Derek Walker. Dinky do to you. Lovely to have you. Oh, my goodness. I just uh, slipped on the cameraman, slipped. <laughs> there we go. Welcome back, I say. Quick uh, nighttime pop-up just live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Kieran Porter, all smiles. Good morning to you. Good morning, Scotty. Another great show again, says Steve Burrows. It was wonderful tonight, Steve. And I'm really looking forward to when the word gets out. The station's brand new, of course. So we build the phone in. Why not? Absolutely. But uh, tonight was just tremendous. And I'm very grateful to everybody um, who called in and who joined in and who listened. Um, I do want to hear from you, of course. I'll put the number up so you've got it. 0141 811 um, Phone that because we're on tomorrow night at 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight and then Sunday night 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight you're on bed yet says Derek no Derek I've just come off air from Nation Radio after a lovely lovely show very much enjoyed it and I hope all of you that were listening enjoyed it as well great stuff there's William Cameron dinky do William lovely to have you with us Scotty McClue with a Friday night apre show pop up John Adams uh, is sleeping talking Derek that's right John I'm talking in my sleep wonderful so oh, does anybody do a bit of the sleepwalking have you ever done that and uh, it's, it's very interesting I don't know what's behind it we'll need to find out there's Leslie didn't you do Leslie Kesson with a lovely round of applause and the same to you my dear lovely to have you with us Scotty McClue capital S small C O double T I E that's the Scotty the McClue capital M small C, capital C, L U E, live on Nation Radio. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight, 96.3 FM in central Scotland. Radio doesn't do you justice, Scotty, says Ben Fazakali. What? What do you mean by that? Wonderful. Excellent. There's Leslie Kesson replying to Leslie Kesson. There you are. She's put a question mark. I don't know what she means by the question mark. What is your question, Leslie, that you are asking yourself? There's Billy Wright watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, Billy. And I hope you are well. I've got to have a wee sip of water because I've got a wee druth on me after a two-hour show, you see. Oh, that's lush. <laughs> what a stuff. That's Kevin Thompson and Stevie Brown. Dinky doo. A wee shout out to Johnny and Davey traveling back from London. Great show tonight, says David Kennedy. Dinky doo, David. Lovely to have you with us. And thanks to every single one of you who listened. You big hunk, says Ben for Zachary. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate it. Uh, Mark Andrews and Ian Kerr, you're very, very welcome. Scotty McLean with a Friday night, late night pop-up as we go into Saturday morning. It's actually Saturday morning. Hey, Scotty, how's the Lord of the Internet 
Kevin Thompson, the first lord of the internet. Wendy says hello, says Derek. Derek, you and Wendy should be in bubbles, giving it Zs. Sound asleep? by now. Dinky do I say. There's Drew Vlo Vol Vlodersick. Drew Vlodersick. Vol Vlodersick. Have I said it right, Drew? Drew Vlodersick. There we are. What do we get here? Enjoyed your show tonight. I had a spooky experience many years ago. It was in a 200-year-old farmhouse. It didn't scare me, but it did let me know there are spirits not at rest. Dinky do. Absolutely. Uh, Dinky do, says Mark Ferry. Happy Saturday, says Ian Moss. Very happy Saturday to you, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure with an April show pop-up just for you. Thomas Ford. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Thomas. Uh, I'm just doing radio show on community radio, says Kevin Thompson. Good, Kevin. Enjoy that because you will be excellent at it. Wonderful, wonderful. A lot of very good community stations out there. Gavin Howell, Gary Pride, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you all with us. Scotty McClure, of course. Nothing gets past me. Do share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Do some sharing. How do we share? Excellent. I haven't got my sharing stuff with me. So you'll have to do that. Gary Johnson Smith, all the best. And to you, Gary. Lovely to hear from you. David Hennessy, Frank Crombie and Ben Lucas are all watching Scotty McClure's Midnight Pop-Up as we go into Saturday morning. Ian Moss asks an interesting question. As I'm to get the answer to him, will Hibs ever win the big cup again? Exclamation mark. Question mark. Right, so I'll put that out to all of you. Anybody want to give an answer there? Will Hibs, right? Hibernian FC. Will they ever win the big cup again? Very exciting, aren't they, when a team like that. Yes, a wonderful old team. Bonjour from Bunny Montrose, the Eden of Scotland. Angus, glad to see you back in the in the game on Nation. With a hashtag. <laughs> Glad to see you back in the game of nation. Hashtag for Scotty McClure. Mr. and Mrs. T had a baby. Arnie. <laughs> you cracked that earlier. I saw that. I mess up a lot. I founded it with my money and keep it going. You don't mess up a lot, Kevin. Who's told you that? Right? How can you mess up? For goodness sake, you will be an absolute wow, I tell you. If I move that, I got a shadow under my cap. Uh, I introduced the Royal Wedding on Facebook Live today, and uh, I noticed there's a wee bit of a shadow there. I'm just moving this around as usual to see what the best arrangement actually is, because there's, there's shadows. The Vax Fitek, Leslie Kessler says, yes! She's answering her own question. Wonderful stuff. Good to hear from you. Dinky do for me, Scotty McClure. Quick pop up. Guys, can you all do some sharing and let everyone know? Scotty's live just now. Hurry up. Quick, quick. He's on Facebook Live. Just the right phone. No, I don't have my sharing stuff with me. I'll try and get on to some of it here. I don't have my sharing stuff with me. So you have to do the sharing. There we go. We've just got the mouse here. Uh, I hate people who keep bringing up the past. Those debt collectors are the worst. <laughs> Frank Crummy, love the radio show, Scotty. Can you wish my wife all the best for next week? She's going into hospital. So uh, headaches. So there we go. Excellent. Right. Frank, come on the phone in. Uh, we shout out, we shout out to Sam and Ella. You are working in the kitchen, Sam and Ella. Very good. <laughs> Don't try that at home now, folks. Uh, Hibs won't win the cup, says Steve Burrows. It's got Celtic's name on it already. Gina McPhee, Dinky Doo, Phil Sime. How many CDs have you got, says Thomas? Oh, thousands, Thomas, because I used to use them to do all the shows. And before that, I had uh, vinyl. Uh, you know, still got a bit of vinyl, but not so much. Songs finished and no play loops or drops in time. Uh, so there we are, right? There are no play loops or drop in. drops in time. Yes, I know what you mean. Peter Coyle's watching. Dinky do, Peter. Uh, Mr. Coffee was in a new film, The Percolator. 
<laughs> I'll be back, Derek. Don't bother. If you're going to come back with all that, don't bother. I say, if you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure on Facebook Live. That's the big one. I am the World Stop Broadcaster. I am the first lord of the internet. And I am fresh from Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM, across central Scotland. Tune in. Thanks, Scotty, says Frank. Yes, do for us, Frank, because uh, tonight was quite quiet on the show. A lot of people will be out. I don't mind that. The radio station's brand new. As I say, I could even let you play with the bubble wrap. So there we are. I think I've got some of it here. <laughs> there you go. Have a wee play from the new radio station. We've just unwrapped it. Wonderful, wonderful. Excellent stuff. I have vinyls, says Kevin. Yes, the vinyls. That was the great DJ's skill. Queuing up all the music and feeding all the adverts into the machines. I used to do it myself all the time, but um, there isn't the same call for these skills now because everything's solid state. It's all, it's all digitized. It's all on the PC and off it jolly well goes. But the lovely thing about Nation Radio, they've got live presenters there and Scotty McClure on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday night popping up just to have a chit-chat with you. So do feel free to phone 0141 811. And um, you've got that number. You try and get that in there, 811. Uh, program it into your phones, 0475. 0141 811 0475. Program it into your telephones. Solomon Chowdhury, dinky-doo. Derek Jimmy Walker, my pie had to work so hard to earn a crust. You've been opening the crackers again too early. Murray Ramage, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Whoa, from Scotty McClue. Welcome, 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 I say. Now, um, yeah, Digi, Digi, excellent stuff. The Digi stuff used to be called analog. Remember that? Like you have an analog telephone. Now everybody's got a digital telephone. Wonderful. We like that. So there we go. And uh, I wonder if I put on the light, if it would be too bright. Shall I try it? I'm going to try an overhead light now. It might be too bright. We can put it off. Patrick Trainer says hello. Hello, Patrick. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Do. You're watching Scotty McClure, Facebook Live. Quick pop-up for you. Apple show. Tremendous. Now, is that too bright or is that okay? Still got the shadow, mind you, haven't we? Still got that shadow. Let me get rid of that shadow. I'll just experiment. You don't all mind, do you? If I do a wee bit of experimenting. Experiment. Well, that's not really getting rid of the shadow either, is it? See, I'm causing... I am the shadow. I am the shadow. How do you feel about uh, the hypocrisy about the two referendum chat there's Ben for Zachary, I don't quite know what you mean. Which hypocrisy are you talking about? There's been quite a lot of it about. Uh, you are the man, Scotty, says Patrick Trainer. I thank you, Patrick, and Dinky Doo. And you are the man, too. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClure's late night pop-up. This is fun, isn't it? I'm having a good old chit-chat. But um, you can all come on the radio station and give me your chat. I don't want any of this. Oh, I'm a wee bit shy. Or, oh, I've never actually phoned a station before. Well, now's the time to do it. Remember the drop bottom, says Patrick Trainer. I do. Yes, in Barnsley. We used to say the girls' bottoms were actually lower than the national average. They could wipe out the footprints if they were out burgling. Uh, hi, Scotty. Thanks for the wee chat tonight. Not at all, Neil. An absolute privilege and a joy to hear from you. It was very, very good. Wonderful stuff. Remo Pasiti is watching Dinky Doo Remo and Morsi Puffin is watching in Oz in Australia. Hello, Morsi. Good to have you with us. <laughs> oh, excellent stuff. You said you'd be listening at 8 in the morning. Is it 8 in the morning? It'll be, is it 9 now? Ian McDougall's watching. Drum, 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 drum. There we go. In from the drum. Can you listen to this radio station online for those of us who are out the country? Yes, you can. Nationradio.scot.com. 
It's okay for EU second vote, but there should be no second indie vote. No. People need to realise, Ben, that the EU referendum and the Scottish referendum are totally unconnected, except if they go ahead with Brexit, there's every chance that it will break up Britain. That's what will happen there. But they're totally unconnected. It's like these idiots that say um, his friend went out with a fruit machine, he'd hit the jackpot, he says, Excellent stuff. 7.20 a.m. here in Perth, Western Australia, says Raymond Pacitti. Excellent, Raymond. You're watching me in West Australia. Is that not absolutely incredible? And have you got Nation Radio online as well at nationradio.scot? Can you get that in West Australia? So there we are. But we are only in the UK, I hasten to stress. But, you know, you can't stop if people can hear you. So there we go. Very, very interesting. But it's a Scottish radio station, nationradio.scot. But uh, excellent stuff. Now, night night, says Jane McDonald, the wonderful Jane McDonald. Night night, Jane. Sleep well and dinky do, I say. Uh, my mate in Saudi Arabia is worried. He's part of a farming consortium. And he tells me that the sixth sheik's sixth Sheep's sick. <laughs> you tried to catch my clue out. You will not catch my clue out with tongue twisters, I say. The sixth sheep's, sixth sheep's sick. Try to imagine an imaginary manager managing an imaginary menagerie. There we go. Are you up for a second independence referendum, Scotty? Yes, of course, Frank. I don't mind this. It's like these idiots that say to you, so wait a minute, Scotland. You want to leave one union and then join another. And you've got to say to them, yes, because economically, Westminster is very damaging to Scotland, whereas economically, the EU is now very kindly and helpful to Scotland and has opened the country up. You've got to remember that until virtually the 20th century, Scotland was running on the old drove roads. Now we've got motorways all over the place and we've got um, A, proper A-class roads. Fantastic. I mean, I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember going up the A9 to Pitlochry from Glasgow. For a start, you used to have to go out the Alexandra Parade, which on a Friday night was stowed out and step it through. And then you travelled away up north through Dunblane. And then you went through all the wee towns on a, quite a small A-class road into Stirling. And through Stirling, and then you went away up to, uh, to, to Perth, you went through Perth, and you went through all the villages, Ochterarda, and, and uh, Blackford, and all that sort of stuff. I totally agree, Scotty. We need to think of our bonnie Scotland. Well, we do, Frank. It's nothing to do with being anti this, that, the next thing. The only thing I would say is, shut up about the monarchy, because the idiots that go on about a republic are going to lose Scotland's destiny. All right, we need to reassure the royal family that their future is 100% perfect. So there you are. That's what Scotland needs to do. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck it in the bucket? There you are, Ian Moss. Not a problem. Sight reading. I totally agree, Scotty. Excellent stuff. Uh, so there's all that kind of stuff, but see that Brexit. You know, I mean, if, if, if I was in power, I would ring the EU on Monday morning and say, listen, sorry about mucking you about, but it's just to say we're staying and we'll rescind Article 50 and just get on with it. But we want a much better deal. So jump to it. That would make us very, 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 very powerful. Amazing. Um, right. This is why text is no substitute to chat. That's twice I've had to explain the obvious original comment. Scotland should and will be independent, therefore normal. Yes, I see what you mean. Um, Thomas Pedden, Dinky Doo, Susan Forrest, I have a couple of spirits in my house. 
Scotty, is that in the spirit cupboard of the cocktail cabinet, or are they genuinely in the house? How do, Scotty, says Alan McGee. Excellent, Alan. I just thought I'd do a quick uh, pop-up, just a quick Friday night into Saturday morning, a midnight pop-up to say hi and to thank every single one of you for listening to Nation Radio tonight. But do come on. I want to hear you calling as well. Pick up that phone, get the number into your telephones, and let's hear from you. Indy all the way says Ian Moss. Shout out for Big Smash, says Thomas. Uh, Paisley, says Peter Ewing. So there we are. Excellent. So you must be telling us people are putting up Perth, West Australia, and you're putting up Paisley. That's what we like. Dinky-doo, I say, from Scotty McClure. What's your thoughts on uh, high-speed train Scotty cutting five minutes to London and costing millions? I think that... Um, High speed HS2, is that right? I think the money from that should be put into the Scotty McClue show. That's what I think. They should take the money from HS2 and put the Scotty McClue show national on the BBC. So there we are. That's what I would do with it. Genuinely in the house, says Susan. Right, Susan. Very, very interesting, the spirits. And do they knock about the place? Do you hear them? Because I was at a friend's house recently, and um, he said, this is the room with the ghost. And I said, well, do you want? Um, so there we are. Ah, Ian Moss. I'm going to delete that. I'll leave you, but I'm going to delete that. So there we are. Um, you know, and uh, I said, do you want me to ask the spirit to go? And he said, oh, no, 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 we quite don't, don't muck about. We can quite like our wee ghost. They are very strange. I was at my son's graduation on Tuesday night, graduated with an HND in accountancy, Scotty. Jess has been studying for three years in total towards his HND. Frank Crombie, that's brilliant. We're going to give him a round of applause. Top man. Pat on the back from McClure when you see him. Well done. I say, well done you, Frank. Because every parent, it's quite a thing uh, to make sure that the kids get on and get their exams and do well. Uh, I watched Home and Away at 12 p.m. What time were you back from Home and Away? Uh, Derek, you should have been watching the Royal Wedding at 11 o'clock for one hour minimum. Fantastic. Very, very nice. Lovely service. Lovely young couple. Oh, that's very good. That's lush. So there we go. Uh, let me know, did you all watch the Royal Wedding today? And have you enjoyed it? Have you had a good Friday? Uh, do tell. Spill the beans, I say. Very, very important. And get on and share everything with Scotty McClue on it on Facebook. That's very important. Just scroll through all the McClue stuff. I'm never sure how much you see. Because sometimes I'll pop up and maybe 10,000 will join us. Other times I'll pop up and a couple of hundred will join us. You know, and I find that very, very strange. So I'm just thinking, is everybody getting to see the Scotty McClue pop-ups on Facebook? Right? Sorry, Scotty, I'm having trouble watching you. The video freezes after five seconds. And I hear you... Uh, the same, repeat the same thing in a three second loop. Oh, well, you've got a problem there. That's nothing to do with me. Do you remember the post I put on Facebook last week? The Vauxhall Forenza. Yes, Murray. Were you impressed with McClue getting that? I just took one look at that and I went, that's a Forenza. And that's not a word I've used for about maybe 30 years. You know, incredible. Scotland Water, says Peter. So there we are. They are active. Is this Susan telling us this? I can just see that, but I haven't actually seen where it's coming from. It'll come up in a minute. Give us a song. I'll give you a tune. Well, I'll give you a tune on the on the box. Where's the box? I'll give you a wee tune on the box. There we go. <laughs> Is it too late for the squeeze box? We don't want to disturb the neighbours. Yes, I do. I remember when you put that post on. It was very, very interesting. They're active, says Susan Forrest. I've had to get help to settle things. Right, well, don't upset them very much so. Nice and calm. 
Give us a song, Caledonia, Flower of Scotland, Bonnie Buddy Banks. Uh, it's okay now, Scotty. I knew it was a problem at my end, says Lee. Yes, it must be Lee, because everything seems to be fine here. Some of us have to work, says Thomas Hall. I know. I've walked since I was 12. There you are. Uh, Hi, Scotty. You're far too handsome for the radio song, says Robert Edwards. Robert Edwards, what a kind thing to say. Go for it, says Ian Moss. Right, I can't go for too much music because we don't want to uh, upset the tape, you know what I mean? But uh, I'll give you a wee bit. <laughs> There you are, there's a wee number for you, just a wee bit of dinky-doo. Evening, Scotty, says Michael Connor. Evening, Michael. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, my wife asked me to pass the lip balm. I gave her some super glue instead. Patrick Trainer, don't try that at home now, folks. That was for entertainment purposes only. I see. Right, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, and of course the world's top broadcaster. I've just popped up to say hi, following my wonderful, wonderful show tonight, courtesy of your good selves, on Nation Radio Scotland, 96.3 on the FM. Scotty McClue on there, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, through until midnight. Come and join us. Scotty, where are the broadcast studios for the nation? I remember the one at Lady Lane in Paisley. That's right, Ian, yes. Scotty, what do you think about an EU deal looking very likely? Although I can't see Scotland being happy. But let's reserve judgment until we know what the actual deal is. What a sensible thing to say. Michael Connor, can you shout out to Andy Smith? So there you are. I'll say... Hi, Andy, and dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. Right, there you are, Michael. You give me the impression you may have had a light refreshment tonight. Right, it's time I wasn't here, so I'll say to every one of you, have a fabulous Friday night. Some of you will be just going out, some of you will be coming in, and some of you will not know whether you're going out or going in. Scotty, I've seen pictures of you with glasses on. Have you had your eyeballs lasered? Never, Alan McGee. No, I certainly have not. I think I've got the glasses. Have you got any matchsticks for your eyes? There we go. What about that? But I can't see you. <laughs> the problem is, I put my glasses on, I can't see you. The Black Island. It's not the Black Island, Peter. It's the Dark Island. That's the one. The the Dark Island. Um, I'm sure that was a theme tune for a teleprogram originally. Have a good day, says Thomas. Thanks, Thomas, and you too. Good night, Scotty. Dinky doo. Good night, everybody. Scotty McClue says dinky doo to every single one of you. Speak soon. <laughs>